Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Mr. Chen's Fountain World. Uh, today I'm going to review a very interesting pen. Interesting pen. Uh, not this Twisby Echo, but this Chinese pen. It is called the Kelly Arts Eagle. Uh, e G O. Uh, I think it is uh, copying this E C O. Okay, so let's get started. When you buy this pen, you will get a box like this, uh, including this sheet of paper and uh, a small wrench and uh, two rubber rings. I'm not going to take it out. As you can see that uh, the original rubber rings are in red, but uh, the rubber ring you can swap them is in black i don't know why why are they different but uh that's not important okay so the way you disassemble this pen the way you take uh the piston part apart is uh exactly the same way to do it on the twisty pens uh, so that means it is uh, the same to do it on the pelican m800 series so i'm not going to do it for you now um, okay so let's look at the pen the finial is empty nothing on it just a clear plastic you can unscrew it and take this uh, clip off but I'm not going to do that for you today and uh, as you can see that uh, this pen is is round uh, unlike this uh, twisty echo shape uh, so I think uh, it is easier to make and the look at the cap you will find out another thing is that this Kelly's ego is not uh, with the inner cap and uh, as you can see that uh, the section and the barrel is in one piece you cannot take them apart uh, this is the same design as on the twisty ego and so is the the part you store your ink totally same and uh, one thing interesting is that you can swap your uh, pilot nibs on it so if you have a kakuno you can take the the nib and swap it on this pen so you can have a piston version of Kakuno uh, that is not bad and the cap is is possible but uh, I don't recommend you to do that uh, it is light uh, you won't feel uncomfortable to hold it on your hand post it but uh, um, when you post the pen, it is posing on the turning up of the piston, so it is not good. For me, I think this design is not good. As you can see that in Twisby, if you post the pen, uh, it is not posting on the turning up. It is posing on this end part of the barrel. So uh, this design is more clever. However, this pen, this Chinese pen is much cheaper. Okay, so let's do some writing sample. This pen is Kelly Arts Ego. It is interesting that this Chinese pen does not have a Chinese name. Cool. And the nib is F. The ink 
is noodlers apache sunset you can see that uh, this pen is is a little bit wet uh, If you write fastly, so fast, uh, no skipping, so performs well. And uh, let's write something uh, quick. Brown fox jumps over. My my writing is is awful. Uh, every end goal is good. Uh, the the nib is not super smooth like cutting through butter, but it is good enough. Uh, for me because it is a really cheap. Uh, piston pen and if you are not happy with the nib you can just uh, swap it with your Japanese pen so uh, for me this is uh, a good toy I had a lot of fun with it and let's do some reverse writing reverse writing reverse writing is uh, pretty dry but not uncomfortably dry for me i think it's not uncomfortable but maybe some of you will feel uncomfortable okay so this is my review of this chinese pen and uh, i hope you like it uh, if you like it give me a thumb up and uh, if you want to watch more videos please subscribe me and i have a youtube uh sorry i have a facebook page uh mr chen's fundament world uh, you can follow me on that page again thanks a lot for watching see you next time bye bye